Welcome back to another video. Today we're writing a Java program that takes an input of a character and a string. So we're going to ask the user for like one letter and then one word. And then it's going to count how many times that letter is in that word. If that letter only appears once, we won't print it as plural. So there won't be like an apostrophe S. But if it appears zero times or more than once, we're going to print it as plural with like an apostrophe S. Here's an example. If they enter N for the character and Monday for the string, we're going to print 1 because Mon uh, because N appears once in Monday. And since it, it's only once, we won't make it plural. But if it's a Z inside of Monday, that appears 0 times, which is not equal to 1. So we print it as plural. So let's actually code it up. First thing we're going to do is gonna define a scanner object. Scanner, SCNR equals new scanner system dot in. That way we can get user input. And then we need to ask the user for a character. So we could say char user char equals so there's not really a way to get a char like um you could say scanner dot next line dot next int. So we could say sc scanner dot next. So we're asking for a string but we don't want a string so we could say dot char at index 0. A string starts at 0 so we're asking only for the first character which is what we want. We just want one letter. And then we need to find a string which is going to hold the word. We'll call it user string and then we'll set that equal to scanner dot say next line. Okay that way we have our input. We'll have a character first and then a string. And then we'll define a variable of type integer called, we'll call it count. Count will be how many times the, um, the character appears in the word. So count will just hold like one or zero or just a number, however many times it appears. And then we're going to iterate through the string in a for loop. We could say for, for int i equal to zero, i less than user string. I'll explain the code right now. And then we'll increment i. User string dot length. Okay. So we're going to start at zero and then we're going to iterate through the user string. Say they enter Monday, our string starts at zero, so we're going to start M. And then we're going to go to the next letter, which would be O, and then N, and then D, and then A, and then Y. And then in, inside this for loop, we're going to have an if statement. We could say if we could say at uh, user string dot char at index i equals equals uh, what do we call it user char if it equals user char we can increment count by one we can say count plus plus or count equals count plus one now let me explain this code is a little hard to understand so this for loop we go through each letter in the string and this if statement we're going through each letter but we're also checking, does m equal n? It doesn't. And then we go to the next one, because we increment i plus 1. So remember, i starts at 0, string starts at 0. So first we check, does m equal n? We don't. If Since it doesn't, it's going to skip this line of code, and then it's going to go to the next. Um, it's going to add 1 to i. i starts at 0, plus 1 is 1. Then we go to o. Does o equal n? It does not, so we don't increment count. We don't add nothing to count. Does n equal to n. It does. So we're going to add 1 to count. And then we're going to go to d. d does not equal n. a does not equal n. y does not equal n. So we're going to stop. We stop when i is greater than user string dot length. In this case it would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once i is greater than 5 we stop. And now we have many times uh, that string, that character appears in the string which is inside of count. So we're pretty much done with the hard part. Now we just have to print everything out. But remember, if the, um, the character appears only once, we have to make it singular. So we can say if count equals equals exactly one, we have to say we can say sys out, which is short for some out dot print line. And then we can say count because we want the how many times it appears first. And then right next to it, we want a space and then the character. So we'll do an empty space, not a zero, and then plus the user char. That's if it appears only once. But if it appears zero times or more than once, 
it will be handled by this elf statement. You can pretty much just copy this, but we just have to make it plural. So we could add like an S to it at the end just to make it plural. We'll do apostrophe S. And that will make it plural. Since it's N, if it's only once, or we could do Z apostrophe S, because like if it's more than one, you could say car or cars. So that's about it. And now let's run the Java code and see if it's working. So let's type in, let's do the output, the like the example input. We could do N and then Monday. So n appears once, which is only once, so it should be singular. So one n, let's run it again. Let's do z and then Monday. Since z appears zero times, which is not one, it should be plural. So you could say zero z's. Let's do a fun example. Let's do a inside of a. So there's ten a's, which is correct. So it looks like the program is running as intended. If this helped in any way, please leave a like and subscribe.